and myself is Sagar. Today we'll see why SQL is important and how to practice SQL for any data engineering or data analyst or data science role interviews. Let us understand why SQL is important for data engineering or data analyst or data science people. So first and foremost is it's a core skill for any data role. So you know that, right? SQL is essential for accessing, managing data in database. And it is a primary skill for any data related role. Without SQL, there is no data related jobs. Okay. So very poor skill for any data related role. And it is efficient in data retrieval. So we know that, right? SQL allows you to query and retrieve the large amount of data that took quickly, which is very crucial handling real world data sets. So it's very important to learn SQL again. So it supports data analysis. Any data analyst, they have to come up with a dashboard. They have to come up with a good vital generating insightfuls, right? So for that, what they need to do, they need to do manipulation. They need to filtering. They need to do complex aggregations. So SQL help us to do that. We know that, right? And data transformations. Well, for any data engineer, transformation is a very key thing, right? So SQL is plays a key role in transforming and preparing that data which can be used in pipelines so that ensuring there is a quality of data and usability of data is increased for any other team. And last is nothing but widely used in industry. So SQL is universal across all the company. Almost all, all the organization uses it, mainly for data storage or reporting, analysis, or maybe building a data model as well, right? So it's a very important, we need to understand first SQL. As they say, SQL is bread and butter for any data related role interviews. So to understand SQL or practice more SQL code, we have a few platforms. These are the best platforms which we can use to practice SQL code. One is lead code, another is hacker rank, another is more analytics and Kaggle data. Uh, lead code is something but it's a platform which provides you various ranges of SQL queries, which mimics the real time scenarios so that it ranges from easy to complex. It helps you to practice more and more queries. Whereas Hacker Rank, if you're very new to SQL, you want to get started, you want to start from basics to advanced, you can go and start practicing in Hacker Rank. So it gives you scenarios and you need to start practicing on top of that. Another, for more analytics is another uh, platform which gives you a data set, which is ideally for focused on analytical support, okay? Whereas Kaggle. Kaggle is another we know, right? It provides you a data sets, which we can use that data sets and come up with the SQL queries, which help you to building in the project based skills. Okay. Whereas in, in today's video, we'll concentrate on this lead code. Lead code, what it does. So if you're giving any interview, there is something called the SQL 50 in the lead code. So if you practice this 50 questions, right? You'll get a confidence and you, you feel like, okay, you have hands on on as many as problems you have. It helps you easily analyze and even manage your time and come up with the answers in your interview. So today, let's see how lead code, how we can do and we'll get started with the lead code problems. And in coming series, we are going to solve all the 50 lead code problems. And these are free, which are available. So all you need to do is just go to any Google and just browse lead code is skill 50 and you are going to get this once you click you are going to get for you uh, you need to sign in with your any uh, google account it just says start here so once you get click on this it will get started so you can see here okay now what it does these are like it starts from very basics so based on selects they have, we have a few questions based on basic joins we have questions basic aggregation functions sorting and grouping advanced select and joins, subqueries, advanced string function, clauses, a regular expression. Based on that, there are total 50 SQL questions, okay? And even you can see here, okay, the level of difficulty for these questions. That is easy. If it is an easy question, that has given easy. And if it's a medium level, that has been given as a medium level. And if it's hard, and that has been indicated here, okay? So first, uh, let's get started with the first questions. In the coming series, we are going to solve each and every questions of it. So that we have some hands-on on SQL, and it is very helpful for you to get prepared for your interviews, okay? 
So uh, to get started, what we need to do, just we need to get click on. So once you click on this, it will take you to the page. Okay. So here you can see here, okay, how it is. See, here is, this side is a question side, which gives you description of every questions. What is the input of the table and what's the output and what's required from this type of questions, okay? And here is a editor where you can write your queries. Once you write your queries, you can just run your queries. Once you run your queries and these are the test cases that has been given by the for this particular uh, question, these are the test cases. If all these test cases are satisfied, then you can submit that question, okay? Now, one more good thing with uh, this is, it has a different range of, and if you want to work with MySQL, you can just click on MySQL, it will take you to MySQL. If you want to work with Oracle, you can just click on Oracle, it will be a Oracle editor. You don't need to install any software. To practice, you no need to again create these tables, insert these uh, queries to practice. It's just straightforward. Come read the questions and write the queries. And once the queries are correct, and just submit. What we are going to do, we are just going to get started with. I'll show you what happens when you once we read this question, we'll just see what what will happen. Okay. Now before get starting, I'll let you know. Suppose if you write any wrong queries, right? You have written this wrong queries and you have just run this query now. So what it shows is, it shows the wrong answer, okay? And it shows why it's the wrong answer. So this was the input and output what was required was this expected and based on this query, it is coming as, it shows that your query is wrong, go and check and again, correct your query and submit it. So it's it gives you a real time exposure where you can understand where you're going mistake they are going wrong and you can correct those uh, mistake and again come up with the queries, okay? So let's understand the first question, the basic small easy question to get started. So let's see what's there in this question. So it says, okay, table name is product. So for this particular table, the table name is product and it has these columns, okay? Column names are product ID, low underscore fact, recycle, okay? And these are the data types for this particular columns, okay? And what it says, okay, product ID is a primary. So this product ID is a primary key. Primary key is what? There are Unix and nulls are not allowed in the product ID. Okay, for this uh, particular table, product ID is the primary key. And it says low underscore fats is the enum, that's category of type Y or N. Okay, either this e, uh, low fat can be Y or N, where Y means the product is low fat, n means it is not. So it is indicating that, is it a low fat or is it a not? So it's like a flag, okay? Recycle. So recycle is another enum category, which has Y or N, where Y means this product is recyclable, N is it's not, okay? It explains the table, what is there, and this is what expected. So we need to write a solution to find the IDs of the product, which are both low fat, as well as recycle, okay? And also it says order, it can be of any order. So we no need to write any order by clause here. So it just says we need to find the, all the IDs which are having low fat as well as recycle. So if you see the table, now this is the input data, okay? Your product ID, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Since it is a primary key, there are no nulls in this. And low fat, it is indicating Y, Y, and N, okay? So now what we need is, it should be a low fat Y, recyclable Y. So you can see YY, that is one, one is output. Three, again YY. So three is output, okay? Only products with one and three, both are low fat and recyclable, okay? Now, first, what we need in the output, we need only product ID. So I just started with that. Let's see, okay, select what we need, product, ID, we need is product ID. We just give as a product ID. From, we need to write the table, right? Which is the table name is products, products. Now we need to what? We need to filter it. We need to filter. So what is the filter case? For filtering, what we do? We make use of where class. Okay, where, what's where? Now low fat, okay? Low fat is equal to, what is the case? That is, is it low fat? Yes. Y means it is yes, N means it's not, right? So we use Y equal to Y and next, 
and condition. Why we are using and? So if we, uh, it says, uh, we know that, right? Let's, there are two operators. One is and, another is or. So what it does, and is nothing but both the condition, whatever the condition you take, man, both the condition should satisfy. If both condition are satisfying, then only it's a answer. If in, the, in case of or, if any one condition, any one, any one condition satisfy, it gives a result. So first, let me show how, okay, let me comment it out. Let's go with or and see what will be the result, okay? Or recyclable equal to y. So now in case, once you run, it is going to be, uh, obviously it's going to be wrong because we are not getting the desirable result. So what it does now, so you can see here, okay? Either y, this should be y or this should be y. It takes that out. So zero is there, okay? Y, Y, any one is there, it will take. Now here it is, Y is there, so it has taken two. And here again, Y is there, it has taken three. Now in this both case, Y are not there. So it won't take this. Now this condition is not satisfied. So this was not taken. But now what we need, if both conditions are Y, then only we need that, right? So what we do, we go with the AND condition. So once you go with the AND and run this, now what, how, what will get you see here? It is taking, okay, now I accept it. So once all your test cases are correct, it just accepts and say, okay, this was the output and this was expected and you got your output. So once you do that, just submit it, okay? Once you submit it, just submit it and it goes to the main thing. Now this is, once it is done, you can see a tick mark. This you have solved. If you want to again retry, you can just come here, click on that. And now you have returned with this. If you want to go and write, okay, now pandas, you can go and write in a pandas and you can practice. This is a small video on how to get started with lead code. Uh, in coming videos, we are going to practice with the next few questions. We are going to solve each and all 50 questions and do practice this, which will help you to clear interview. Okay. Thank you for watching the full video. See you in the next video. Thank you.